previously on Jay-Z's Reptiles. And then, hopefully, if I'm not too verbose, into some of the taxonomy, which is, you know, the thing that most people like to fight about in this hobby. Taxonomy. Taxonomy is essentially just a classification system that us squishy-brained humans like to compartmentalize and put everything in neat little boxes so that way it makes sense for us. And there's pretty good examples of why that's a good thing. It's been used to develop different types of antivenoms for all the different cobra species in India and Nepal and Sri Lanka and those type of areas where they do that sort of thing matters when giving proper life-saving antivenom and other stuff. Other times, it's just cause for dude bros online to just debate about North American rat snakes. So whenever we look at taxonomy, we're looking at the breakdowns of life. So, you know, the plants, the animals, the fungi, and then it breaks down like that. I'm going to try to make, mostly make it to where we're just talking about the parts that really affect our hobby as keepers. So a boa constrictor, a red-tailed boa from Southern Guyana right? Actually, Northern Guyana. When we look at that animal kingdom, how it shapes down, as we all are probably somewhat familiar, you know, it goes kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. And there's a couple other little ones in there. So for that boa constrictor, animale, the kingdom, the phylum, chordata, which essentially means, uh, and again, super, super dialed down. Don't get mad at me, scientists. It's essentially, most of the time, vertebrates whose butthole develops before their eyes mm. and their brains. Mm. And then, so that's chordata. So kingdom, animala, phylum, chordata. And then we move down to class, reptilia, reptilian, right? And then we move down to order, squamata. Squamata is the term for most lizards and snakes. And then there's actually a suborder in there called serpentes, snake, right? Then we move down to family, Boadae. Boadae are the boa constrictors, which includes all the ones from Central and South America, as well as like the Dumerals boa and the Pacific Island boas like the San Isabel ground island boa and those type of animals. And we move into genus, and that is boa. And then we move into species, and that is constrictor. And then there's even one down below that, and that is subspecies. So for the true red tail, as I said, a Guyana boa, that would be a boa constrictor constrictor. So that is the genus boa, the, cons the sorry, the, yep, the genus boa, the species constrictor, and then the subspecies constrictor. Because once we hit the species part, that's where it starts to get kind of murky for a lot of people. Where essentially a species is what originally we decided that this group of animals all looks, behaves, and generally lives in the same places, does the same thing. And then, as we look even further at it, study more, we can see that there are variations in there. Sometimes enough to distinguish it where it can still be part of the same species, because it's a lot like it, but they're just a little bit different, and enough different to where it's considered a subspecies. And then it gets even murky from their part because maybe it's just like a regional thing where it's just variable phenotypically, where it just looks variable, where they can be like the variable king snake. They can be six or seven different pattern morphs, variability phenotypes, but they're all the same species even though, and that's where the mitochondrial and DNA differences start to come in. And that's where a lot of people will really start to get upset because, you know, boa constrictors, there's six or seven, depending on who you're fighting with, different subspecies of the boa constrictor. So as an example, boa constrictor longicata. That is boa constrictor, so genus, species, and then subspecies longicata. In the case of North American rat snakes, pantherophis is the genus, and then it gets blah, 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 blah from there because there is a lot of DNA differences that don't necessarily line up geographically and phenotypically with all the different species of rat snakes that have a lot of overlapping ranges and behavior and looks. And so that's where all of that nonsense come in. So if that didn't make a whole lot of sense, what I like to tell people is for something that's a little bit more relatable, think about wolves, the gray wolf, that is Canis lupus. So genus Canis, species lupus. And then a subspecies of that would be the domestic dog. So Canis lupus familiaris. The domestic dog is a subspecies of the gray wolf. 
Another subspecies of the gray wolf is the Mexican gray wolf, so Canis lupus mexicana. Those, and there are several other ones in there, which is why, and then again, thinking about the different variabilities in geographic locations, that varies a lot with wolves and that gets debated among scientists. And so for Colorado people, I think you know what I'm getting at. But for back to the boa thing, that's where in just a true red tail boa, boa constrictor constrictor, there's all of these locales and regional things of, you know, Guyana and Suriname and Peruvian and South Brazilian, where they're all the still the same species, but they look a little bit different. And through geographic isolation or population densities, we were deciding that sure, they look different and they come from the same air, different areas, but they're still the same species. Whereas like the Boa imperator, that has been defined as its own separate species for quite some time. But because it's essentially dogma for the hobby, a lot of people will still say BCI, even though they're just Boa imperators now as an example. So hopefully that was pretty straightforward to the point, pretty understandable, hopefully it was. If you have any other questions or wanna let me know if I did something really, really bad, please let me know down in the comments. Um, always happy to do my best to write down your ideas for you know, the different videos and stuff like that. And that's actually why I wanted to do this video today because this next video is actually one that a person asked me to talk about. And it isn't one that I necessarily talk a whole, whole lot about, but this kind of classification, taxonomy, kind of more in-depth verbiage type of thing has a lot to do with it because <clears throat> excuse me, while this can be very verbose and very technical, this next topic can also, and I would honestly argue, much more technical to it can get, it's big. It's very, very big. I know I'm stuttering and mumbling a little bit, but it's big. Next video that I will be doing will be about dinosaurs. And you can probably let your imaginations run wild for that. So I am paying attention. I always try to do my best, but that's what I wanted to do today. It's not necessarily a two-parter, but just an idea for you guys to look forward to for this next video. And again, if you want to see me talk about anything, want to hear about anything, I do write it down whenever I get good video or I think I can, it can be a good video. I will always try to do my best for you guys. So questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully I did a good job. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And again, thank you all so much. Hope you're having a great day and we'll check you next time.